The gospel passage from meditation is taken from the gospel of St Matthew chapter 19 verses 23 to 30. And Jesus said to his disciples, Truly I say to you, it will be hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again I tell you, it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly astonished, saying, Who then can be saved? But Jesus looked at them and said to them, With the men this is impossible, but with the God all things are possible. Then Peter said in reply, Behold, we have left everything and followed you. What then shall we have? Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you, in the new world when the son of man shall sit on his glorious throne you who have followed me will also sit on the tall thrones judging the twelve tribes of israel and everyone who has left houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands for my name's sake will receive a hundredfold and inherit eternal life but many that are first will be last and the last first the gospel of the lord once i happened to visit the residence of a priest he has enough source of income so he wanted to be creative whatever way possible he constructed a beautiful house and a chapel and inside the chapel he prepared his own tomb Every day as he enters chapel he sees his future how his life will be after some years he knows well what life can bring to him at the end how many of us live a life meditating on the end of life everyone thinks of becoming rich and great no one wants to be poor or simple for many of us to feel great means economic independence to have maximum to meet all the needs which means a life without any dependence on god in fact we all are poor beggars in the sight of god saint agustin of hippo reminds us this fact through his sermon even though you possess plenty you are still poor you abound in temporal possessions but you need things eternal you listen to the needs of a human beggar and you yourself are a beggar of god what do you do with those who beg from you is what god will do with his beggar you are filled and you are empty fill your empty neighbor from your fullness so that your emptiness may be filled with the god's fullness was jesus really against rich people what made jesus to give such a strong warning to the rich we know that jesus was not opposed to wealth or to the wealthy jesus found a tendency in rich people to consider wealth as something particular to them and belonged only to them they failed to see the value of sharing and caring jesus seems to say that it is nearly impossible for the rich to live as citizens of god's kingdom the book of revelation chapter 3 verse 17 we read how the wealth can make a church with the falsely independent for you say i am rich i have prospered and i need nothing the scripture gives us a paradox we lose what we keep and we gain what we give away generosity will be amply repaid both in this life and the is to come Jesus offers us an incomparable treasure which no money can buy and no thief can steal the thing we most set our hearts on is our highest treasure material wealth will shackle us like a bound slave to this earth unless we guard our heart and set our treasure in God and his kingdom of everlasting life and joy and i pray may you be found to for the disciples of Christ in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen